able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Coming into this game, I think most fans were hoping the matchup would go just like this. Two great quarterbacks going back and forth in a tight game. Yeah, they're playing so well. Don't even have to talk much, which I don't know if I enjoy, but they're playing at a very high level, Jim, and you got to think whoever has the football last is the one that's going to win this game. The Steelers take it from the 23. Knocked down as he fires it. The Steelers take it from the 23. And it's knocked down. Defense, play the situation. It's third and long. Don't let a receiver get behind you and make a catch to pick up the first down. Keep it in front of you, and then let them catch it and come up and make the tackle. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. The Steelers get a first down. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The Steelers on their offensive play sheet, they don't have any plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. The Steelers snap it at the 36. And picks up maybe three or four. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And, man, this guy is taking advantage of those opportunities. Second down and six. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. An open lane. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. short the Steelers take it from the 43 he runs with it right up the gut the Steelers turn the ball over on downs anytime you go for it on fourth down the NFL there's going to be a lot of second guessing if you don't get it so get ready for the second guessing it is coming Bill, this quarterback matchup has been a great one today as both have put on quite a show. Yeah, it's been a great matchup between the quarterbacks. And look, I think the league is loaded with really good quarterbacks. out I think he's gonna go down the field with the football he has the grab that's his ninth catch of the day being a go-to target Phil I think you would say every quarterback needs one in fact one just like this guy well, I know this they need one I know they all want one and as a wide receiver some guys it doesn't matter if you double team him every single play they just have the knack and the talent to find a way to get open from the gun the ball is knocked out. You see the offensive totals for these teams, and it's been about two teams getting it done in different ways. What we're seeing is two different philosophies on the offensive side from these teams here today, Jim. And it doesn't matter. All you want to do is just get it done. The Steelers have it at the 44. Heaving it down the field. It's intercepted.
The Steelers with the ball back now, benefiting from the turnover after giving the ball up themselves just a few minutes earlier. We're seeing mistakes start to accumulate here, Phil, for both teams. Yeah, I think, Jim, that's what you call them. You call them mistakes. They are turnovers. They're just giving the football away. There's no excuse for that. Man, they got to tighten things up here in this game. Seeing these stats, Phil, you really look at them and have to go, wow, because both teams are just playing so well on the offensive side of the ball. I know that's what the fans are doing. They love these type of games. High scoring, a lot of action. They're having a good time. I know this, the defense, it's the other way around. They are having an awful time. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. The reception by Antonio Brown. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. We're coming out of the two-minute warning, and the offense is trying to run out the clock. This play set up by the long gainer to the ground. And that gains a few. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Drop back, shotgun formation. Matt Spate has the reception. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The ball is charged loose. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The kick is good. Kickers are like everybody else, like quarterbacks throwing the football. When their confidence is high, they can make it look easy. Another nice field goal by the kicker. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. The Seahawks offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. And they should thank the defense, bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. And you're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding it the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. One team's running the football, the other is passing, but both are working with their game plans. Yeah, they both are working. As you look down there on the field, one set of running backs are really happy. On the other side, the wide receiver group, they're really happy. So as long as you get it done, that's all that matters. Second and 10. The defense gets the sack. A critical moment in this game as it's third down. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with a hurry-up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. sitting in this game you said it Jim and I'll tell you what all the pressure goes to the defense can the defense find a way they get him off the field three downs and out and make a punt it's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle the Seahawks will call for the timeout they need every second to be preserved at this point offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play Too late. That's a touchdown. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting. 
to end it like this late in the game, man, you enjoy victories like this. So for two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Steelers will line up here for the onside kick. And the hands team does its job as the onside kick attempt is thwarted. The Seahawks offense had a golden opportunity the last time they were on the field. A promising drive that came up empty after they fumbled the football away. Let's see how they reacted at this time. Yeah, I think they're going to react well to it, Jim. Listen, you know, the bad is, of course, they fumbled. But the good is the plays they made, the feeling they got when they're out there on the field. They had to feel like they were dominant. So just overcome the fact that they fumbled and get down there this time and score. Second down and ten. Down the field. Huge third and long coming up. And they're certainly in four down territory as well. Third and ten. Surveys. But they can't connect. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. They'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. The Steelers offense comes out for what is in essence just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh yeah, a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field. And it's just, you think about it this way. A tough week of work, all the preparation and the practice, and you came through and got it done and enjoy the moment. First and 10. but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Airing it out. Intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position, when you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Mitchell nearly coming away with an interception. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second and ten. Flag is out. But it's incomplete. Offside. Defense. That's what happens when you try to guess Still the snap count. Second down and five. Stands in the pocket. Uh, this is one here where you had to just hold your breath because just after one touchdown was scored, there would be another one shortly right behind. And a high-scoring affair and a memorable day indeed. It really was. How exciting, really. The, the gym, it just, it was just, you said it, one big play after another. But it happened because both of these teams Man, do they have some superstars.
Phil Simms and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.